Arkansas High King Fiscal Court to order on this 23rd day of March 2021 at approximately 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Jason Bullock, if he will, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Bow your heads. Dear Lord, we just love you so much, and uh, we just see your hand at work, dear Lord, the flowers blooming and the greenery, and we just ask you continue that you uh, work in our community, and we ask that uh, you continue to bring the numbers down, and we're, we're so thankful that the COVID numbers are going down, but we also ask you would be with those who are who are sick and are still struggling with the uh, this virus, that you comfort them and then you be with their families and then nurse them back to health, dear Lord. Again, we just ask that you continue to be with our community. We ask you to be with us here today as we uh, make decisions that impact this community. That when we make a decision, dear Lord, we take in consideration of you, what you would want, and we pr uh, prayerfully consider uh, our decisions, dear Lord. Again, just be with our community, uh, be with those who are sick and ill, and thank you for blessing. It's your name we pray. Amen. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the minutes of uh, the March 9th meeting, I see the motion to approve. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second by Larry King. Is there any discussion, correction, or additions to amendments? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. The motion to approve those. There's not a late list, is there? No. Okay. Second. Have a second. Who want to make the motion? I'll make the motion. Okay, motion by Jason, second by Larry. You got it, Miranda? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, discussion on the bills. Any discussion? Bills, claims, papers, transfer. Discussion on the bills. If not, go call. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cow? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Uh, the uh, minutes are approved. Uh, item number five. Uh, we have something called the uh, Recovery Act. And that's a federal fund. We'll be dealing straight with, uh, uh, with Treasury on it. And uh, we don't know exactly there's a lot of more questions that are answered about how we spend it but they're going to send it to us in a big check and we got to have it in a special non-interest bearing bank account so i move that we set up a bank account for our federal funds second by larry camp is there any discussion or questions about that yeah i'll have to you'll have to allow me to have a hundred dollars to open that up Yes, I will put that in my motion that that I am a hundred dollars to open the camp. And what is it, Larry? Are you going to get there? Or? Yeah, well, yeah. I know things are tight. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like saying that's done. Uh, the sheriff has given you a list of uh, vehicles and things he wants to get rid of. Uh, they've got a pretty good gig going here. Uh, I'm proud of that. I'm, I mean that in a positive way, Alan. Uh, Alan's always been kind of an expert on getting things from the uh, military. And after we keep them and use them for how many years? Three or five? Two. two. After we keep them and use them for two years and then sell them, that money goes in the sheriff's office to be used for uh, things like uh, more equipment and things of that nature. Alan. Then some of these are also drug recovery. Helen, what kind of uh, uh, tractor truck is that? Is that just an old dilapidated, wore out one or whatever? No, sir. I mean, it's not. It's not just dilapidated and wore out. It's uh, actually pretty decent shape. Runs well. Uh, it's got a large winch on the back that would pull this building down. I think. Uh, when we got it, we didn't realize it, but we screened that truck 
and it hauls an 18-wheeler trailer that the military uses, you cannot have on the road. Oh. So our truck, it can, it can operate on the roadway, but the trailer that's made for it is too big, yeah. if that makes sense. Uh, so, the, reason, the reason I was asking, uh, you know, we just purchased one that hadn't been too long ago, and, right. and uh, I was hoping it would be something that we could utilize where we could, uh, you know, you could sell it to the court that right. we may use at the road department or whatever. It, I mean, actually, <coughs> it runs. It's not a bad truck now. What model, what model is that one? You're, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's military. Oh, it, it's military. It's, it, again, it's a big truck. It yeah, uh, probably sits too high to look up to your yes. standards. And, and uh, as the way they are, there would be modification. In we had thought we could use it with the road department, get a trailer, and drive it to go get equipment. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the problem. We can't hook a trailer to it. It's yeah. it's too large. Yeah. And we can't get a trailer from the military. They're not releasing those, so we've, we've got a big truck that we can't do anything with, uh, yeah. just drive it. Yeah. I can see one of these logger boys really want Oh, yeah, like on top yeah. of yeah. yeah, I love it. I just thought maybe it's something that uh, those <clears throat> cars would utilize. Right. So let's read my question, for my question. And Joe asked me too about the generators, if they were in good shape. Uh, we, we, were, we used them for fire and all that all the time. We, we've got a couple. I think there's four total. We're going to keep two of them. To, to fall back on and use if we need to, one probably out of our range. Uh, then uh, uh, the two that we're letting go are not running right now. I don't think it would take much to get them back on their feet. This stuff, it's like anything that you let sit for very long. It, it, it's not good for it. You need to use it, you need to run it. Yeah. Especially uh, outside, huh? Yeah, right. And that's part of the problem. Uh, being able to have the time to to mess with some of that stuff to keep it up, keep it running. So yeah. and, and people are that way too. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's all I have, Chuck. And we just need a motion to accept this, or how do we? Yes, yes. I'll make a motion to accept the items for surplus for sure. Second. Something. Motion by you get them, Miranda. Yes. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any other questions or discussion? Will these be able to be viewed if someone was to contact the sheriff's department? Yes, or sir. We'll, we'll have them set up at our impound yard so they're secured, but we'll, we'll let them know Monday through Friday. All they got to do is call for an appointment. We'll take them out. They can look at it, go through it. Okay. Uh, that's how we've done in the past, even. But I think now with COVID, an extension right. of that, we can do a virtual for somebody because we reach people from all over the U.S. Right. through this cell. We could do a video, FaceTime with them, and show them what they're looking for, what they want to know, so it, it helps us reach a bigger audience. Yeah, right. You you guys have really fared well in that endeavor, haven't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It has. It's yeah. really early, early, fall. early on, back in years ago, you had to convince them that you had yeah. was going to use it in drug enforcement, and yeah. Alan somehow come back with an 80 ton forklift. We did use it for drugs at one point in time or another. And we do have another one. We just got one. Yeah, I know. We're going to unload a pot with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, hey, I'm sorry. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Folks like saying, motions carry. This, this equipment's declared surplus. Thanks, so. Thank you. I need the two personnel things. Uh, One, I discussed with you in uh, closed sessions the last meeting, so you'll remember when it comes up here. Uh, the first one is Gaydale Allen in the office, and it's uh, a park golf boat at 868 in the hours, part time. Uh, it's open position. So, roll call, Miranda. Pull up? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. And the other is for the pro shop. It's H A E L? Haley. Haley Browning Pro Shop. It's 76, uh, 760 the hour beginning 323 21. 
uh, PRN, this means as needed. When he's, you know, somebody don't show up or something like that, can be called in. So, uh, need the roll call on that. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Towns? Yes. Markey? Yes. Uh, want to have a closed session with y'all, and, and sure enough, it's going to be closed. And it's under the uh, litigation and a quick personnel thing that I want to talk to you about, and it won't take long at all. Uh, we need to uh, motion to go in closed session. So, uh, I'll second, I'll second, Jason. And all, all the in favor of meeting in the back room. Hey, Judge. Yeah. I don't know if Ann got them or not, but I should have had two more on there. Tony Renfro and uh, no, I only got the one. I sent two more in the Megan. Uh, you just want to go with Duart, see find them, come back out. Oh, yeah, that way, try, nobody... she can try to find them while we're in here. In the okay. you don't have them, do you, Miranda? Okay, we'll go back here to our closed session and then. Back into close, David. Good. All right. Uh, all in, all in favor of this, I think you've been open. All in favor, uh, yes, open. sit down and uh, say aye. Uh, uh, we're back in open session and I will say that we did, we conducted no but, no business in it and there's no motions to come from our closed session. Uh, right now I do have two more hires for the golf course. Uh, one of them is Megan Stevens at 7.68 an hour. Uh, this is an open position and it would be effective immediately, I guess. Part-time, full-time, seasonal? Part-time. Seasonal. 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 Okay, I'm sorry, don't say that here. It does too. Seasonal. 7.68 an hour seasonal. Uh, roll call. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? And this is in the budget, right? <coughs> yeah. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Uh, here's another one, also for the golf course, but it is for mowing. And his name is Tony Renfro at 8.68 an hour, and it's seasonal. Uh, and uh, I also, uh, we need a roll call on that. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Same deal, it's all in the budget. Okay. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Not coming back. I'm not coming back anything. She was good. She was. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you two and four of those. Uh, let's move right on. Uh, we need a uh, point. Okay, I need to point a viewing committee for two rows. And uh, our three count here, this up for uh, Wayland Lane and Carolyn Lane, both out the Long John Silver's and both in and Jason's district. Minimark, Wendy's. What that's uh about Long John Silver's. I'm sorry, that's where you live. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I meant I meant Wendy's, I'm sorry. Alba Wendy's. Uh, it's at that subdivision there. They're good. They they'll meet the craft here, but uh, we can't find the viewing committee that had looked at before. We couldn't find the report. So we're going to point a new one for it, as well as Downey Lane, which is we're looking at a correcting the measurement on it. But Justin told me today we better go ahead and have the viewing committee look at that. And of course, it'll be the road supervisor, Nick Woolen, and uh, Jason Geary, and Bill Burton. Uh, so that's the, that's the viewing committee that I'm pointing. Uh, so, you want to tell me anything else about that right now, uh, Jason? Well, uh, mine is actually one road. And the Wayland Lane is uh, 0.387 mile, tenths of a mile, and Caroline is uh, 0.263. So, um, and we've been out there. Actually, uh, Keith and I have been out there twice with this guy. You know, with the new, bringing the new roads, it's got to be 20 foot wide. We wanted four residents, which there are four nice residents out there. It is 20 foot wide. He did widen it. And as a matter of fact, a couple of the tiles were not as big as we wanted. So he's extended the tiles. 
and uh, went back out there again with Nick this time. So we've been out there three times and just asked Nick what he thought about it. And he says probably the best base yeah. for a county road we've ever had. Rock. rock right now. Uh, this will be, uh, we'll, we'll get the viewing committee down and it will be for your consideration this next court meeting. Uh, as well as the correction on the map on the downy lane. It just takes a 90 degree angle and he wanted to name one after his grandson, one after his granddaughter, but it basically kind of runs the same. Does this feel, it needs to, what do you need to try to carry in a of residence to on the end Yeah, we went, we went over, actually three times we've been with him to try and to make him get it into, because the one time the, the shoulder was too high, we wanted, he worked on the shoulder, there was some rock, um, that we thought would tear up our blades so when we mowed he fixed that and uh, like I said made a 20 foot wide across extended some tiles that we, he's worked with us the whole time and and Nick said he probably thinks it's probably the best space he's ever taken in as far as but, the world. Uh, this is, this is just, uh, we're adding this on for for uh, an individual has built so many houses and selling them or what no he, he sold the lots the houses are individuals have already built and bought and okay. yeah he's not built the houses the individuals bought the land and built the houses uh, i think most people who drove out there would be surprised it's not already kind of road i mean if you drove it's, it's probably one of the better that's what keith our nick said one of the better roads we've ever taken in um so uh, that's that's done the viewing committee's there and we will bring that to you the next meeting um we'll do co committee reports now and i know that uh, a new committee that was appointed the uh, spray committee met uh, yesterday afternoon and i want to ask joe to make that report on it and then larry morphew's on the committee too he can make a comment um we just looked at the trying to get the spray truck out there and spray like we've been trying to do the past yes. year uh early to address the johnson grass mainly yeah and Nick's been doing some calling about chemicals and everything. One of the chemicals is is a fusillate, and it's like it's it's pretty expensive to try to spray it. But what we're going to do is we also found another chemical that supposedly will target Johnson grass <coughs> and it's supposed to be effective. Uh, and it's it's like a third of the price. So we're going to buy a little bit of chemical from both both of those providers and see the results so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to a couple of the roads and, and then all the districts where we know we got johnson grass issues where the roads narrow and everything that we get calls about every year and spray it and see what kind of a uh, result we get because you know the bad thing about johnson grass it grows so fast uh you know if we mow it in two weeks you, you can mow it again uh, it <coughs> be be waste to shoulder height depending on the water but uh, the good thing is we'll get a pretty fast result on if it's doing anything to the grass. It's supposed to kind of make it dormant and, and right, and then just you'll just mainly have your your regular grasses like fescue. You still have to mow, but you won't have to be mowing through there and have a problematic weed problem. What's the committee's opinion on on spraying some of the roads? Now we sprayed up here what not so many last year, but the year before. And we had real good success. I know we did up in the fourth district. Now I'm not talking about the people in front of people's houses or anything, but on back roads and uh, where it didn't it didn't complicate an issue with anybody. Right. And we had good uh, good luck. That we was, certainly don't want to kill the vegetation on a hill or anything like right. that. Right. That was generic yeah. roundup and two four D, I believe. Yeah. What I was looking at is on the the guardrails and the intersections. You know, uh, using like the two four D or even some roundup, depend on how the intersections are if it's guardrails and you got fire poles and everything that you can't get the mower in there and ever ever really yeah. hit you know we we probably look at killing it out completely but on the, there was a few roads that we we killed out completely but what we was worried about is uh is fires and then the uh, drainage as far as you know erosion like you said on hillside yeah. so there we would target like 24d that's going to tar target your horse weeds and 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 spray this out or the fusillade or this uh yeah. i believe it's sentinel to target the Johnson grass. Yeah, has there, has there been a plan put together where we got uh, certain roads that can't be sprayed year after year and hills omitted from that or whatever? No. no we, we, I feel like we need some kind of plan so we can go from year to year. We need a rotation uh, uh, also. 
Yeah, where we can, uh, we know just exactly that to those will be the roads we don't have to mow. So. Right, now, the what Nick is stating, and, and he could very well be right, but there are a lot of roads that if you took care of the weeds, you don't have very much vegetation. Yeah. You'll just have a few tall weeds on those roadsides, and you don't have any, hardly any grass, so there won't be anything to mow. However, what Nick's saying, a lot of times they're trailering through there with the mowers, so if they need to, they, they can hit it with the mower. But what we're trying to do is get out ahead of it so we don't get the, you know, the four and six foot tall weeds growing out and leaning out in a row. Yeah, I know people that cut Johnson grass for hay, they get four cuttings a year. So yeah. That reinforces what you said. And they're still does hefty it cuttings. Uh, does it make good hay? Uh, I've never used it, but uh, a lot of these uh, grain farmers, they, they don't want you feeding it around their place. It's better, it's better than a snowball. Yeah. I guess so. That may be well. But just sounds like so it is very, it's going to be expensive, but it's such a safety issue. We, you know, we're going to have to check into it and do the best we can on it. Yeah, right. Come up with a, stuff. It's definitely a safety issue. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that Johnson grass is thick and tall, and it, yeah, it, it does. Trick. Like you say, even on the guard rail, right? That, uh, we can't get mold. So. And if it can cut a well, we have trouble getting over the roads twice a year, and we'd love to do a three, so if this would get where we'd make it over one and a half, yeah. the motors will be worth it. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll, I think we'll keep in a lot of complaints, like at intersections and stuff like that, where people complain more so. Mm -hmm. One and a half, I mean, one well, and you know, so and one a lot of these guardrail issues, you know, and everything, oh, you guess. can't. You can't, unless you put someone out there with a weed eater, you're, you're not going to mow it or do anything else other than spraying it. So the most effective on time-wise is to spray it, spray early. So yeah. that's go. what we're looking at. Yeah, okay. You did a good job. You did a good job on me. Uh, we'll give you COVID-19. Well, and I'm sorry, was there any other committees that met? Uh, we're going to meet uh, the judge and I and other judges from distant for adjoining counties uh, on the uh, jail uh, Thursday at 10 o'clock. So. And that'd be in your office, I think. In the uh, fifth court room, so. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, I look. Uh, so would somebody pass on to Rip, uh, inform him that because he can be an asset, I think, in helping us out. He, he does not. Okay. He, he, plan, he plans to be there. Good deal. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've asked him to look into some uh, documentation to have come up with for us. Uh, our COVID-19 report, it. Uh, we get some good numbers and some bad numbers. The good numbers is the cases are going down now. We have fewer of that, which is a real good thing. But for some reason, we keep picking up de a death. Uh, we've had a, had a death today on the, reported to us on COVID-19. So our death rate is much higher than, uh, than the grad area uh, and the state. And we're a half a percent higher than the than the grad area or any county in it. We, uh, we're at over 2% and 1.5 is the highest for the areas around us. So I worry about that. So we still, we're not out of the woods completely. If we'll behave ourselves for the next few uh, weeks, I'm hoping that we'll get some things opened up and some restrictions lifted. Um, that means very hopeful that, that that will happen, that we don't have a resurgence like the spring break caused one or things like that. Uh, the vaccinations, it's definitely helped. It's getting out there and more and more people are getting vaccinated. Um, aren't they there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Larry's sick to me. Yeah, he, he, uh, but most people don't, and, and it's worth it. He, he won't be sick long from it. I saw the incident break today. It's 5.4. It's the yeah. lowest it's been. And yeah, that's based on the number, number of tests taken. Yeah, 5.4. It's incidents per 100,000 people population. And like the 25 is Red County. We've been, then orange, then yellow, and then green. We're in the yellow. So that's the lowest it's been in long time. Yeah, so we're going the right direction, but let's just don't let our guard down too quick. And They've got a new vaccine, haven't they? A uh, trial, I believe that's right. Of course, the Johnson Johnson's already out. A lot of people got in it. Uh, Moved it pretty forward now. So, so it's uh, it's going to get everybody that wants it here very shortly. Within a few weeks, 
anyone that wants the vaccinations will have them. And I hope more and more won't because it's a responsible thing to do. I'll say that unequivocally that responsible people will get them. Does the hospital have any, any <laughs> What's they have it in their unit right now, COVID unit? No. See, I, I've heard they haven't had many for the last week or so. They haven't had a week for a while. Yeah. Uh, there's a... Do I? They shipped them. They shipped them. Oh, I was going to say, I heard they haven't had it in two weeks. Yeah. I actually don't think they went to Ohio County. I think they picked it. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, we did have a death recently, so they yeah. were some more. Um, with that said, that's about it. Just let's keep on keeping up. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and let's don't attend inside events with a lot of people there. Uh, that's all I have. That now I'm ready for the magistrate's comments and request. We'll start with uh, Jason. No, I just after my road. That's all I, I have today. Joe. Yeah, I have nothing. Thank you, Joe. Larry. Larry. Yeah. Justin. No, Judge. Thank you. Anybody in the public have anything for good of the body? If they don't, oh, one one last thing. Next court meeting we want to do on Monday the 12th at 4. The reason being for that is some of us is leaving right after that meeting to represent our county in a, in a uh, meeting in uh, Lexington in the joint judge executives and magistrates uh, meeting. So we're going to have a regular meeting at 4 o'clock? Yes. Okay. And so I'll work on another budget workshop right after that, which we'll talk about then, schedule another budget. Is that Lowell or Lexington this year? Lexington. Lexington. Murray I. Okay. With that said, I'm going to call this being adjourned.